Unlike the US, the European Union requires the airlines to compensate people when they can't keep to their schedule. Sometimes those rules apply here. Let's look at which airlines and flights qualify. The rule we're talking about is EU EC 261. It's bureaucratic lingo for sure. What matters is which airline you fly, how far, and how much they're delayed. The measuring stick is how late you arrive at your destination. Compensation kicks in when you arrive two hours or more later than you were supposed to. It starts at 250 euro for short flights and goes up to 600 euro for the farthest flights that are delayed the longest. When we made this video, 600 euro was about 659 US dollars. Your airline is key. Anytime you're flying an EU airline to, from, through, or around Europe, the rules apply. A flight delay can trigger cash compensation. When you're flying US carriers, cash payments are not required on your way to Europe. But on your way home, they are. EU 261 requires payments unless the airline can prove what the law calls extraordinary circumstances, things like nasty weather or strikes. Other issues like maintenance or crew shuffling do require compensation to you. Here's how to get paid. You'll have to file a claim after your flight, so keep your receipt and ticket number. Look for a form on the airline website. Most of them that we saw were pretty straightforward. The deadline is less straightforward. It might vary by airline, anywhere from 12 months to a few years to file. What we do is apply as soon as you get home. After your claim is processed, the airline will send you a check or do direct deposit. Some companies online will help you file an EU-261 claim, but they take a cut. I'm confident you can do it yourself and pocket every penny. Pro tip to maximize your payout. Offer the airline a compromise, especially if you plan to fly them again. Offer to take your compensation in a voucher instead of cash at a higher amount. That negotiating trick can work. I speak from experience here.